we just bought a storage unit that's so big, it's so massive that it's gonna take seven 15 foot U-Hauls to get home. We only paid $20, and everything I just said is a total lie except for the price. Let me explain this one to you. Let's check it out. Before we even get into this storage unit, let me explain to you why it was already sketchy from the beginning. I originally bid $20 on this unit June 16th and I got outbid. I bid 20 and I didn't go any higher. It went up to 30, then up to 50. Somebody wanted for 50, didn't think nothing of it. My only goal was for $20, honestly, just win the unit and I can at least ensure that the family gets that military funeral flag that's sitting in their back 100%. But I lost it at 50 bucks. Then this morning, now that 16th was Friday. Friday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and part of Wednesday had passed. Five days later, now I get a backup buyer email for that unit, which was kind of strange because like I said, I stopped bidding at $20. In order for it to go to 50, that means at least two other people had to be fighting back and forth for that unit. Because if one other person only bid, it would have went off for $30. So at least two other people had to be bidding each other up to break it go up to 50 bucks. Why was I getting the backup email? Because there was obviously somebody ahead of me, which was already weird from the beginning. I was going into this unit very, untrusting and once we got in there it was even weirder so check this out so usually when you see a unit this little with this small amount of stuff in it the first instinct is that they took what they wanted and left the junk behind right but then my mind also tells me if you're gonna take what you want one of the things you would take would probably be a US flag that's usually used in a funeral for either military or police officer or something like that this would I mean wouldn't it be the first thing you would take? It would be the first thing I would take. So that's why we kind of feel weird about this one. And I figured worst case scenario, if I pay $20 and it's just personal stuff, we at least know it gets back to them and it's just 20 bucks, so who cares? So let's go through it. Let's get into the tote. By the way, you asked if you could tell by my voice, I'm just recovering and getting sick. Not COVID or nothing, so nobody freak out. <laughs> let's see what's in this thing first. Well, we got a jacket that's actually brand new. Look at that, Fashion Nova, brand new with tags. That could pretty much pay for the unit, 20 bucks right there. <laughs> so let's see what else is in here. This looks like so many pictures. Like that's what's so weird. Usually for me, like if I'm buying a unit and I'm kind of profiling it, pictures and personal stuff being seen from the front usually means they didn't get what they wanted because that stuff's irreplaceable. You can buy a new jacket, you can buy a new couch. You can't buy a new flag from your dad's funeral. You can't do it. So usually that's the first stuff that's gone. That's why I figured let's go for it. But look at this, these are, literally all personal these are all personal photos it's kind of strange i'm almost look more i don't want to show their pictures but more personal photos literally that's all it's in here it looks like is that all it's in this entire unit here's somebody's photo album with i mean just a bunch of stuff in there literally all personal you can look through here look personal photos personal photos this down here looks like it's gonna be more personal photos. It is, literally. This whole tote is just like personal pictures, I think. We're gonna make sure there's nothing else hidden in here. It's strange. Personal pictures. In, all right, edible undies. <laughs> I guess that counts as personal too. But let me go all the way to the bottom really quick. All the way to the bottom. It's nothing what personal photos. I'm really starting to get the feeling that like somebody else bought this unit packed and then you know left the personal stuff behind because that's what you're supposed to do when you buy these units and then they resold it because it's kind of crazy that that whole tote is literally just personal stuff minus a jacket. Kind of strange to me. If we go into here this is actually like home decor stuff. These are like crystal pictures like cool. goes from blue to black and they're like little rocks on it so I guess it's not all personal, but it is just kind of strange how it's set up like that. Look, and here's more. Some of these are even brand new. Like, look at these canvases right here. These are still brand new in the plastic. I don't see price tags on them, so I don't really know what these go for, but I can't imagine they're more than like 10 or 20 bucks at like a Michaels or a Home Depot or something. Not Home Depot, um, Big Lock, something like that. So that's that. And like I said earlier, we have this. That was one of the main reasons I figure I thought to myself that maybe nobody had been in here because this would just be the first thing I would take. So I don't know. And then if you look here, it's nothing but personal photos again. And then let's get into this big tote at the bottom here and see what that is. Well, it just opened up. All right. Look at this. Is this there's no way this is all personal stuff. 
Look at this school, a graduation thing. That's from 1976. It looked a lot older than that. Yeah. But look at this. See, look. Military photos right off the bat. So, had a feeling that would be the case because of the flag. But this whole thing right here, minus a couple cookbooks. There might be vintage cookbooks, though. Yeah, I mean, we got, what's this one here? Uh, Bender or something recipe, blender, blender recipes. Recipe. And then this one's Campbell, Simply Delicious Recipes. So, I mean, a couple cookbooks, but other than that, look at this. There's nothing in this tote either, other than just personal pictures, all the way down, all the way through. Can you imagine somebody having a storage unit, they're coming out and taking everything, and then leaving all their family stuff? That just makes no sense at all to me. Now we have a major problem with this storage unit. So let me explain to you what's happened since we've gotten it home. Before we left the facility, we talked to the employees there to see if they had any type of contact information with the former owners. All they had was a phone number, which they would no longer pick up. Probably because, you know, they're nervous, they didn't pay their bills, and they don't expect some good stuff to come on the other side of that phone call. So that's not an option. So when I got home, I looked at the certificate we found in the tote and looked up that name on Facebook, and then just a Google search with the city and stayed in there it's like the person's a ghost they don't exist which is really really strange so I tried again to look them up on other forms of social media and I could not find anything so then I took one of the pictures I put it on our printer which has a scanner scanned it into my computer and tried to do a reverse image search on Google to see if I can get any type of social media of the person to pop up and again it's like this person doesn't exist so I'm at kind of a loss right now I don't really know how to, what to do or how to get in contact with these people so if we're not gonna make any money on this unit that's cool it happens but at least let's use this platform to do good so this is obviously a military family's belongings we want to make sure they get that back and we don't know how to do it but we do have one thing we have the, lots of people lots of you guys that watch us and we can share the living crap out of this video so if you could do that take please just take three seconds share it and if you know any military pages military websites military groups anything like that share this into it especially if you're in Virginia or that area but anywhere in the world helps the more eyes this gets in front of the more somebody sees that picture and says oh my gosh I recognize him usually I make sure to blur the photos out of the videos that I accidentally show not doing it this time because somebody out there has got to recognize it and if whoever owns this sees this video and realizes it's their stuff because I'm not gonna put the facility name and stuff out there. If it's yours, you know, there's no reason to putting that on blast. If you know, email us or contact the facility that you're more comfortable that way. It doesn't matter. However you wanna get in contact with it, I'm not getting rid of this stuff. It's gonna be sitting in a box in our garage until we get in contact with somebody. And again, guys, I'm begging you, share the crap out of it. The more you like the video, the more you comment, the more YouTube and Facebook decide to promote it because you're interacting with it. Just leave some comments. Say blah, 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 blah. I don't care what you say. Just say something, like it, and share it so we can get this thing in front of as many eyes as possible and increase the probability of us finding that original owner. Now let's end this video on a couple pieces of good news. Number one, this coming Wednesday, if I could think of the date, I would tell you, but I'll pop it up on the screen. We are gonna be having a live auction on our channel with all of those knives that came out of that recent unit. Like we said earlier in this video, this last week, I've been kind of sick. My voice sounded like crap. That's why I haven't been uploading anything or doing anything because I couldn't really talk, but I'm good now. And luckily nobody else got sick. It was just me, my luck, huh? But anyway, we're gonna be having that auction this Wednesday with all the knives, we have cards, we have a lot of cool stuff. Make sure you're following us on Facebook so you can see that whole page. And even cooler news, guys, for our Texas people. We are gonna be in Houston, Texas in like a week or so. The UFC 265 event is at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, and we have a lot of people in Texas. And I've only been to Texas one time and didn't have time to do anything, so you know what? We are super excited to be in Houston, Texas. So if you're in the area, let us know down in the comments below how many people we got in that area. Maybe we should do a meet and greet. Maybe you should give us some suggestions of good places to eat, good fun things to do, and things like that, because I'm really excited. We got four seats, baby, four rows behind the cage. I'm so psyched. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it wasn't really exciting. Sometimes they're not when you get small ones, but hey, if we could do some good and have some fun in the process, it's a good day. So thanks for watching. Leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Until next time, peace out.